Well, pretty much ever since I was born, I've had a passion for motorcycles, and uh, I can remember as a little kid even watching Scooby-Doo, watching Evil Knievel on Scooby-Doo jump those jumps and stuff as a little kid, you know, and watching Evil Knievel on those clips, it uh, really, I don't know, I was like, I'm gonna be that guy. You know, I used to pretend that I was Evil Knievel, and I've just always had a fascination for going fast. Anything that's balls to the walls, I love it. Yes, I've, all my life I've been into fast cars, fast bikes, fast go-karts. Uh, I used to play with go-karts all my, all my young life, raced go-karts. I won, I was a North Carolina state champion two years in a row. I won uh, the North Carolina Hair Scramble Association twice, and now I race dirt track. Well, I'm working out here at Sturgis selling t-shirts, signing autographs and stuff, so I had to pack the van slap full of uh, merch and throw the box in a trailer, and uh, that, that's pretty much how I got out here. But I did see you on a victory the other day at Legends Ride, right? <laughs> I don't know. It must have been somebody else. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Yes, this is my first Thursday, but it definitely won't be my last. I came by myself, I packed a tent, I'm out here roughing it, showering in the shower house with all the locals. I wanted the full experience, and boy, I'm getting it. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I love it. Uh, it's, it's a little overwhelming, it's, it's, it's packed, and this is the 75th anniversary, so there's, there's more people here than probably ever has been before. I'm probably getting a little a little bit of an extra dose, but it's uh, pretty much got everything, including its own zip code, if I'm not mistaken. It's its own town. Yeah, this year. It has its own medical people, its own fire people, its own laundry man, its own restaurants. It's, it's got everything, music, food, beer. You don't even have to leave this place to get beer. All of it. I like making all moonshine. Uh, uh, I like making flavored moonshine. I like making brandies. Probably like making brandy the best. I'm, I seem to be, I seem to have a, a sort of a niche for it. It's, it's just something that kind of comes to me. I've, you know, I've found all the wrong ways to do stuff, you know. Once you master all the ways not to do something, it kind of starts falling in your lap after that, right? People always ask me why am I not in jail for making moonshine on TV and the truth is I don't know. The truth is I don't know and I'm expecting them to come get me at any time. And I'm just hoping and praying for the best. I'm not gonna stop doing what I'm, what I'm doing. I have to be very careful about what all I say, but it should be back out about October and we've been doing some new and exciting things and should be big. I've already said this once before. I never thought in a million years, even though I've always dreamed of being an actor and a race car driver, that any of my dreams would come true. Because, well, I've been a tree climbing, freaking hard working son of a gun for years, and I kind of thought that that was where I was going to be stuck at for the rest of my life. And then, you know, some things happened, and I just kind of, you know, just took hold of it even though everybody told me that it was a ridiculous dream and that all these things are crazy and I'm, why would you do this and you're messing up and why would you do that and what are you thinking? You know, my own family, some of my own family were like, you're spending money on somebody else's property to do what? Have you lost your mind? You, you're spending your rent money on, why is your power turned off again? You know, like I, I sacrificed a lot for that and then it hit. It freaking hit. It's just like, I don't want to influence anybody to gamble, but it's just like somebody that kept believing they're going to win a million dollars on a lottery ticket, and they did. You know, I just believed in something, and I strive for it, and I put everything, my heart, and my soul into it, and it happened. And that's, that's it in a nutshell. I mean, I don't know how else to put it.